Greetings, Royal Family. Hope y'all are doing good. Back with more Ask the Queen. So this message for today reads, I work at a restaurant. I make good money. It's easy. My manager is an older white lady. At first, I thought she was really cool. Then she started to say racist and socially inappropriate stuff. She says stuff like, you're black, black, or like, we didn't have rats until you got here. So your spirit animal must be a rat. Shortly after, I realized that she was envious of me being black and she has a black boyfriend and wishes that she was black, which is why she hates the only unapologetically black girl where I work. How should I handle this if I want to keep my job? So, okay. So, my advice to you. This is a stressful situation. And I'm not saying tread lightly. But every move that you make should be a power move, period. And I'm not saying, like, clock the bitch upside the head or choke her out or no shit like that. I'm not advocating violence. What I'm advocating is that you do what you have to do so there's nothing that she can ever say about you. You can't, you can't give her anything. So you need to always be dotting your I's and crossing your T's. With that being said, stay you. When you're doing what you're supposed to be doing, this your job. As long as you come into work and doing your job, it don't matter how she feel about you. Because whatever anyone is going to say, they're going to be like, yo, she does her job, so it's cool. Like, it doesn't matter. Whatever you feel about her, that's personal. Because every time she clock in, Sue's doing her job. That's number one. Number two is, yo, worst advice, but best advice. Kill her with kindness. Like, when people like that, especially like you brought up the whole, she's envious, envious of how unapologetically black you are. So, sir, so what I'm saying is that you a queen. You know that. And that got her sick. Don't step out of character for her. Don't bow down. Don't switch up. Nothing. You hold your ground. You hold your head up high. You do what you're supposed to do. You walk with your aura. You... You sauce them. You straight up sauce them. You give them all the absolute sauce. Don't leave no room, no gray room for nothing. Do what you're supposed to do. She really wants you to go ahead. She want to do everything she can to nitpick at you so you can get loud and be that mad, loud, that mad, loud black girl stereotype. Don't give her that. Every time she do something she think pissing you off, smile let her have it and that's gonna eat her up more than you getting mad and going off and i know getting mad and going off would feel good don't give her that don't give her none of that what you do keep on fucking up the game sir that's all you don't gotta do nothing for her on top of that make your money and with that being said, when people go out of their way to try to shit on you, you want to get back at them, don't give her that. Don't even put yourself in that mindset where you feel like you got to defend your character because you don't. You don't got to defend nothing. All you got to do is keep being the great sub that you are and make her envious. And you know why? She already hating on you. She already be want to be you. But guess what? She can't. So because she can't, just keep being you. She was wanting to be you before you knew she wanted to be you. So now she definitely is wanting to be you. Make her sick. Make her absolutely sick. Like by just being you, killing her with kindness and just continuous, continuing to flourish in your own growth. Best advice I ever got in my whole life, the best revenge is living fucking well and letting people realize that they can't do nothing to you. See the shirt? I wore the shirt for this video. Karma. I saw that because it don't, you don't got to go back and do nothing to nobody. What they put out is what they get back. That's it. With that being said, you have the best day, sir. And when you go to work tonight, don't let her bother you. Don't let her get under your skin. Let that shit go. Make sure y'all leaving me more questions, liking, subscribing, and commenting. I'm so happy that you all are asking for my advice. Keep asking, keep asking, keep asking. I think this is my favorite segment so far.